very quick video about 12.1 which is the Odyssey release for Elite Dangerous Discovery. In this release we've added the new Odyssey events. We've added panels to show suits and loadouts and micro resources. We've had a major overhaul of the web interface. The web interface has new tabs for text, scan display, scan grids. We've also updated all the buttons for on foot mode and we've updated the look of it. I will go over the new features of the web interface shortly. The companion API has been updated if you're a PC commander. It now records automatically on docking both the commodity state of the station and all the ships and outfitting items available at that station. These new entries are also sent to EDDN, so the whole Elite Dangerous ecosystem of sites are updated with this information. Please remember to turn on CAPI if you're a PC commander. This will help the sites that you rely on, such as EDDB, Inara, etc., know about the latest state of every station. The surveyor panel has had a major overhaul with many more options to select to decide what you want to be shown. We've also added more entries to the stats panel, so you can see entries on on-foot play and fleet carriers. As well as these major changes, there's also a myriad of smaller changes and fixes to address Odyssey. A new panel for suits and weapons have been added. The top grid shows you a list of suits you own uh, and their loadouts. You can see across the loadout names and the primary one, two and secondary weapons. The bottom grid gives you a list of weapons that you own, including their class and any modifications. It also has some stats on the weapons taken from the game. The micro resource panel shows you all the different types of micro resources you can pick up. You can filter using the filter button on the different types, such as consumables. The web interface in their discovery has been improved with many new features. The main front page has a configurable menu which allows you to set the split between the two sides. A scan tab has been added which gives you a graphical picture of the system you're in with many options on the menu to configure how that system is displayed. A scan grid has been added which gives you the list of system bodies in text form and includes a menu to configure it. The status page also has a menu to configure the sizes of both the icons and the split between the two sides. You can press one of the action buttons at the bottom to send an order to Elite. The grid button also allows you to configure the sizes of the icon and again you can press a button to send an order to Elite. The button's display is dependent on the mode you're in, whether you're in a ship, SRV or on foot. The next page gives you a list of missions the completed ones in yellow, the active ones in white. There is a menu to allow you to configure the split between the two sides. The final tab shows you the last received text and again you can configure which texts are displayed. That sums up the major changes we made to Ed Discovery for 12.1 and the Odyssey release. Make sure you update to Voice Pack 17 when it becomes available in the next few days. Thank you for watching and enjoy this new version. Check out our YouTube channel for other videos showing how to configure and use other aspects of this program. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.